Hi guys, so I'm Marcus from Mantic Systems, a little bit behind Mantic Systems. It's a German company based in Berlin, uh, started in 1993 and is now one of the largest manufacturers based in Germany. Uh, we do both on-roof systems and also ground mount systems. So we'll start here with our flat roof systems. This one here is actually mounted on a trapezoidal uh, sheet roof. So this can also be on a pitched roof, not only flat. Uh, as you can see we use the side fixings onto the profile and it uses both the tra trapezoidal sheet system and also the flat roof system so it combines the two systems together with this system it comes in either 10 or 15 degrees both south and east west it's a very fast system to install everything's always pre-assembled um, the base rails are always pre-cut to determine the length between the spacing between the rows of the modules it's always landscape it's always clamped on the short side. You can add extra rail on top for like uh, some power modules or 72 cell, like two meter long modules, uh, because they need to be clamped on the long side all the time. They can't be clamped on the short side. This component here is the front foot. On the black nut signifies the 15 degrees and the silver nut signifies 10 degrees. So this one component does both systems and also south and east-west. So for stock purposes, it's very easy to just stock one component that does multiple jobs. It also acts as the rail connector. So for the base rails, this connects the rails together. So the one component does about four or five different jobs within the system. The rail on the floor here is the ballast system. So this is for flat roofs of concrete or bitumen or PVC membrane. This is where it's held down with weight, obviously it's concrete stones. And it's got roof protection mats, uh, which clamp onto the base rail. That protects the roof covering from obviously uh, damage from the aluminium profiles. Again, this uses the same components as the system on the trapezoidal roof, both 10 and 15 degrees. And also this adapter here extends the base rail so you can fit larger ballast stones. So it makes it quite flexible on ballast. You can also get extra rails which span between the base rails underneath the module. So you can also use very long like concrete curb stones. So again, ballast is very flexible. As a standard, this system on ballast can be as low as seven kilograms per meter squared, 10 kilograms per meter squared, depending on obviously the load of the uh, wind load and snow load. Has anybody got any questions on flat roof systems? Okay, next we'll move around to the pitched roof system. So this is our standard system for residential roofs with roof hooks and rail. This can also be used on commercial roofs with corrugated sheet and standing seams. The only thing that changes is the roof hook changes to either a standing seam clamp or a hanger bolt or a solar fastener. But this is the main system for residential roofs. We produce roughly 25 different roof hooks for all different roof covering types. This one's the most popular being the aluminium adjustable because it fits 95% of all roof coverings around the world. All of our components come pre-assembled so there's no fiddling with different bolts and nuts. Everything's always pre-assembled, just to make it uh, easier for installation on the roof. All our systems come in either silver, plain aluminium silver, or also black. So if you have nice black modules, you can also get black rail and black clamps. Here's an example of our mid clamp. And how our system works is we have this inner click technology. So it simply just clicks in, and you fix it down to the module. We also include a little rubber washer, you see here. This is to hold up the mid clamp whilst you're doing installation, so you don't need to keep hold of that whilst you slide the module in. Again, just making the installer's life a lot easier on the roof. All our module clamps are universal for module, different module heights, from 30 to 50 millimeters. 
and they're also universal in all of our systems. So you don't have different clamps for different systems, it's always the same. Just again to make it a lot easier. If we now move around to this side, we'll show you the trapezoidal system. So this system here is for trapezoidal roofs, either steel or aluminium. This one here is a landscape orientation using the small mini rails, which we have these free sample boxes which you're free to take if you wish. So the system is just 100 millimetres long, that's all you need because of how it sits on the trapezoidal sheet. You only need it four per module, so it's very easy to install. Also probably the most cost effective system on the market for this type of roof. These roofs are mainly on commercial and large industrial buildings. And it simply fixes through the sheet with a self-tapping screw. So there's no need to pre-drill, the screw just drills itself and fixes on. On the back we have EPDM rubber and this provides the water tightness onto the roof. And also the screws have EPDM washers, again to provide the water tightness. So this one is for landscape. For portrait you have these rails that go across the crowns, so they bridge across, which means you can have the module in portrait. These use a slightly different fixing technology. These use side fixings, so using the same self-tapping screw but fixing into the side of the trapezoidal crown. This is mainly because of different manufacturers of roof sheet um, require different fixings. So some like it through the top of the crown, whilst others like it through the side. So this is mainly to keep the, main t um, keep the warranty of the roof that you're installing on. Just here is a sample of our end clamp. So it's still got the same clickstone technology which clips into the rail and is universal from 30 to 50 millimetres in, like, in module width. So that's your complete system. So it's very simple, very cost effective. Is, is it uh, enough strong? I mean, it's click, this is fine, but is it enough strong? Because uh, you very easily put it together. Yep. But is it possible to go out? So what I'll show you, so it's a very good question, and if you can see in the clickstone there, you've got these two little arms that stick out. Yes. Once the screw goes in, can you see how it locks? Uh, yeah, yeah. It pushes out the arms, yeah, push so you out. can't take it out. Uh -huh. okay. So it locks it completely down, yeah. so you can never, it would never pull out. Mm -hmm. okay. Any other questions on trapezoidal roofs? Okay. This is all what we need, actually. <laughs> okay. Perfect. So obviously, after we finish, you can take any of these sample boxes and also business cards, data okay. sheets, okay. everything like that. What we'll do now is we'll go around this side to the big uh, touch screen around here. So this is something we've recently developed for exhibitions and also showing customers our products. It's a 3D visualization of all our systems. So as you can see, you can play around with it. It's like a very large iPad and very expensive iPad. But you can take the modules off. You can also, it highlights the clamps, so different components. My fingers work. Hmm. There we go. It takes a bit of getting used to. <laughs> So if you, click, if you click on the components themselves, if I can get to the right place. Mm. So you can see how the module actually is installed and deinstalled. So it's just a good visualization tool to show people how the systems work very easily. What's going on here? Hopefully, Kali can go and get the uh, the controls back. So, uh, this is 
your proprietary software? No, this is, no, this is simply just for visualization. It's not actually our design software. Okay, but it's your proprietary software. You are using yeah. this software, right? Yeah. Nobody else. Yeah. Or it's used by over the website. Yeah, exactly. It's, uh -huh. it's an online software, yeah. So we also, whilst we're on here, so this is our design software. Yes, so this is what we give out to you guys free of charge to use. This is the easy tool. We do have internally, obviously, a much more in-depth system, which gives all the static loads. Um, per that was a bit close of the microphone. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so this is our yeah. So this is our design software. Uh, it gives a full static calculation. So for structural engineers to sign off the system, this provides all of the details you need. Also, bill materials. Also, f ballast for flat roofs. It tells you exactly how much ballast per module which again makes it very easy for installation and also signing off systems with architects and so on, and structural engineers. So, as it's not working, we might have to uh, leave that one now. If we look over here, we've got our gramout systems. So we do a tracker. And what I might do is I might ask uh, one of my colleagues from the gramout side if he can just, um, just help me out with the facts. Yeah, we, we have two uh, structures here uh, displayed. Uh, one is the Sigma 2. This is a fixed system with an inclination from 10 degrees up to uh, 45 degrees. That's, that's what we uh, see. Yeah. Um, we also have, um, this, is a, this is a totally steel system. And um, this, this means... Uh, ah, it's, uh, it's too, too leise, okay. Uh, this is a totally steel system, yeah. That means high strengths. This is a two-post system. That means we, we can make uh, from four modules um, uh, landscape up to eight uh, modules landscape. That means eight meter high uh, as a maximum. Uh, two-post system means also less um, less posts per uh, per megawatt, and and also means less. Um, support forces in the ground that means also less less um, um, ramming depths and and a better price for for of course and what we also have shown that we that we're not only able to uh, to clamp frame modules uh, we are also able to uh, to provide clamping for for frameless modules like these glass glass modules this is also a topic for the um, for the bifacial modules. Um, we have chosen these, these smaller glass glass modules. This can also be bifacial. And with this system that you see here, um, the, the rafters and the module frames are not underneath uh, um, the, the modules. That means there is no shadowing from the, from the backside. So that means this, this system is also bifacial ready. Uh, and uh, uh, the 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 next advantage is when you have a big big table like this six or eight modules then you have big um, distance between the tables between the rows and so the the building of the the building of the park is is very easy you can use uh, big machines higher machines and drive through the rows and also for maintenance in the next 20 years or 30 years is you can use big machines uh, for maintenance for cleaning for example you can see there there are big trucks uh, that you need for cleaning the modules and you can use it this is also an advantage. Okay, the next system is our is our tracker system. There, we are in the market since uh, 2016 with our single axis tracker. It's called uh, Sigma Tracker, and this is a single axis tracker with a north-south axis. That means uh, that we that we track the sun from east uh, to west in the in the evening, from uh, uh, 50 degree east in the morning to 50 degrees west in the in the evening. Uh, um, our our driving system, you see this is the spindle. Uh, the um, when you turn the spindle, then you have the scissors jack, and this is our our um, our mechanism to to uh, to choose the angle between west west and east. There there is a uh, control system that you see there with an with an inclination sensor. Uh, there is a Siemens control software inside that 
that no, um, that has an astron astronomical astronomical uh, control, which knows which is uh, uh, which is the best uh, angle for for the sun and for the tracking, uh, and and then the system itself is not that small as you see here. Uh, the the one tracker is about 120 meter long, with one engine in the middle. We don't have uh, displayed the the engine here today, and this is 100 meter long. That means around 100 kilowatt per one tracker. One engine in the middle. That means um, that uh, that you have a lower price because you have a really s small part of of control, and um, and also. Um, um, you have you have a really stiff system. That means the, this holds the angle like a fixed system when when it's not turning. So you don't need energy to put in to to hold the tracker at the position it's, itself is. And and we have we have at each post uh, we have an we have the scissors jack. That means this is a really stiff system. If comes high wind, storm, and so on, so we don't have problems with vibrations and so on. And this this means also. Uh, we can design our tracker up to 250 kilometers per hour, for example, in hurricane regions like, like Cuba or like Florida, for example. Yeah. I think that that's most uh, important uh, information. Do you have any questions? Okay. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.